हेलो एवरीबडी आय एम डॉक्टर केशव वलसे फ्रॉम वालचिन इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर इन टुडे सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्टरी ॲस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट दॅट इज बेसिक्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल मॅनेजमेंट ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अंडरस्टँड वॉट आर द लिमिटेशन्स ऑफ ट्रॅडिशनल मॅनेजमेंट द डेफिनेशन्स ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट अँड nature purpose and significance of management so these basic things we will discuss in today's session if you see in the past that is before the evolution of scientific management how the management was seen uh, the management had main focus on profit making how to increase their uh, goods or the manufactured items how to sell to maximum extent and ultimately how to have maximum profit irrespective of uh, workers or the employees workers were treated as uh, almost like machines and uh, this gave a gross impression like probably the management might be manipulative at uh, certain points ultimately to please the shareholders and finally make money only so that was a focus of profit making and uh, that stood as the major limitations over the period many people uh, have lots of developments in the management field talking about the definitions uh, let us say take the first case by a uh, scientist george now he has given the keywords like it is the art of getting things done by others by catering to the objective so he earlier people just used to say like just get the things done but not this fellow added get things done by others but yeah uh, looking to the objectives now next to this herald coons again had uh, some comprehensive considerations towards the definition of management and he highlighted like yes it is the art of getting things done through and one more word he had with the people so he had uh, the sense of uh, wholesomeness inclusiveness considerations towards the employees the workers and uh, that too in a formal organized group style so group concept has been added here and uh, yes again is an art of uh, creating environment the conducive environment to be created was uh, taken as the major aspect towards the management which was missing in earlier old styles and that's how uh, as per his definitions he focuses on uh, catering to the objectives and people should work in uh, group as well as while they work at individual level ultimately in achieving the goals uh, with optimization towards the uh, effectiveness and uh, efficiency so this is how some major keywords are added by uh, mr coons and uh, this is quite famous definition now coming to the next point nature of management now management as such they do lots of things and uh, here i am just referring few major points as such uh, you can have uh, many more considerations beyond the ones listed here also so very first is as we have discussed management is all about you know getting things done result oriented by hook or crook say that the things are done second point management is about uh, you know taking employees uh, to work to make them work at individual level as well as in group as a teamwork what we normally say and at the same time they must be sustainable at global level universal level and in today's world as you know with advanced technologies and digitization uh, moving to other nations for the employees of any organization is a very common need and uh, that's how management looks to it as a individual group as well as universal or global aspect of people or activities next point is uh, management has to be with some purpose or some goal naturally no organization stands without any objective or the goal so they do have certain purpose and certain goal next to this uh, management is a process and uh, 
major it is an integrated state of a process so many processes many activities are needed to be integrated and they are interdependent uh, as an example if i tell you if you take any erp software then uh, many more things are interdependent and at software level they are uh, integrated so that then we get to the intended results while we operate with erp software same you can take with uh, cad cam field also design and manufacturing things as well as uh, analysis aspect they are all uh, integrated together so same is about the management it is about integrating such functions such processes together next aspect is uh, management is interdisciplinary if you see the robotics aspect and uh, one more thing mechatronics if you see you need mechanical knowledge you need computer knowledge you need electronics knowledge and in still today's digitized world artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things so many aspects which come in under industry 4.0 they indicate very clearly that today it is a interdisciplinary state of existence in all aspects of a business so with the management also management people all the time are using some mathematical tools or techniques to execute their functions and uh, while using these uh, scientific tools naturally the management is uh, a science it is a scientific approach additionally it is said to be an art as well management basically is uh, dealing with the human beings and uh, no two humans are alike and of course uh, the style of handling two different persons may be different at times hence as management is concerned with handling human beings you need specific skills of handling people and hence in that sense management stands as an art also so it is science as well as an art and uh, next point said here is a decision making or a dynamic yes uh management basically is a definition basically starts with the decision making authorities so at different levels these managerial people they take decisions maybe sometimes with uh, experience sometimes with judgment sometimes subjective aspects sometimes maybe some mathematical tools are also there some statistical analysis tools may be there but all the time it is a decision making process and dynamic yeah time dependent and uh, very sensitive to time at this point i expect you all readers to uh, think of some examples of industries and the organizations uh, with the correlation of these points discussed here so think of some examples where you can correlate these uh, points of management just now we have discussed a uh, purpose of management basically uh, all functions we need to consolidate together with certain purpose so planning directing organizing these are the functions wherein uh, management people are supposed to ensure that they achieve their goals they get success towards their business goals and uh, while doing that as i said in new aspect two things have been added and that is customer satisfaction as well as employee training and their satisfaction also so people are now uh, supposed to be considered as uh, human beings that's a very vital aspect now coming to the significance of management management basically uh, has to have some objective they have to set the objectives and all their efforts must be directed towards achieving these objectives secondly whatever the resources are there right from man machine material manpower whatever you have the machinery equipment all these resources management is expected to have optimum utilization of all these resources that is what is the main aspect uh, the significance of uh, successful management to execute the things 
again talking about uh, competition as you all know today there is a heavy competition and uh, every day new challenges come up and management people have to face the challenges there is no way out they have to face the challenges increasing demand changing demand sometimes market goes down what are the things come up people want new models of uh, their products and management is supposed to meet all the challenges coming to innovation yeah earlier there was a time when it was said like it is a knowledge driven world today knowledge is required but beyond that your r&d activities must be very powerful market wants newer products every now and then and hence in addition to the requirement of a knowledge innovation has been very vital nowadays then smooth running of the business is definitely the prime aim and management looks into that and further to it management its role is it's a direct contribution what they do what they stand for is a direct contribution to the national economy what gdp we call so they contribute directly to the national economy now these are some five reference books i recommend here and uh, beyond this of course you can refer many more books thank you everybody